step 12 determinations of recruits for all recruits we need to add an extra column called original identification this is the name as recorded in the field it can include typos morpho species vernacular names anything it's just exactly as it was written in the field the easiest way to do this is to copy the species column and rename it don't need to worry about the non recruits here their original identification won't be overwritten when we upload these the database only recognizes original identification data for trees that are completely new to the database so right now we've preserved the original identification we want to check the family and species for all of our recruits so I'm filtering our data to just show the recruits Now we need to check that each of these has a family and a species. The family needs to be standardized to APG3 and the species is actually it's binomial, genus and species. Any blanks need to be filled in. If we don't know the identification, we just use indet. In this case, we can also fill in debt into original identification because the original identification is unknown. And in the species column, we need to enter a binomial. So it's in debt, in debt. Here we have a family, but no species binomial. So again, this is in debt. And the original identification is Laracier. Okay, so now we leave original identification as it is and just check a species. Okay, so here we have a morpho species. Instead of species one, we'll enter in debt. And instead of unknown, we enter in debt, in debt. Okay, so now we've got a family and a species binomial for all of our recruits. You then need to check all of these names before we're ready to upload. We recommend using the Taxonomic Name Resolution Service for South American data, the Plant List for Asian data and the African Flowering Plant List for African data.